Hey there, are you planning to take the Master Plumber Licensure exam? Welcome back to another audio review. For today's topic, we will tackle some work problems under plumbing arithmetic. Grab your pen and paper. Let us start. Before we start, remember that to solve work problems, work is equals to work rate. Times, time. Draw this graph to help you memorize. Let us derive equations from the triangle. First, work done is equals to rate times time. Again, for work done, that is rate times time. Another equation, rate is equals to work divided by time. Again, for work rate, rate is work divided by time. Another equation, to compute for time, we have work done divided by rate. Again, to compute for time, we have work done divided by rate. For this topic, we will only be using one formula. To solve work problems, we will be using the rate formula, that is work done, divided by time, or work done, over, time. If the work is completed, we can substitute work done with 1. Hence, for the rate formula, we have 1, over, time. Let us try with this sample question. Sheldon can clean his room all by himself in 3 hours while Leonard can do it alone in 5 hours. If they work together, how many hours will it take to finish the work? Let us identify the given. For Sheldon, for one work done, he can do it in three hours, hence, one over three. While for Leonard, he can do it in five hours, hence, one over five. The question was how many hours will it take if they do the work together? For together, that will be one over t. Let us solve. The formula would be Sheldon's rate plus Lennon's rate equals to their rate together. Time to substitute. That would be 1 over 3 plus 1 over 5 equals to 1 over t. Time to simplify by adding the fractions. To add fractions, don't forget to find their LCD or their least common denominator. In mathematics, the lowest common denominator of a set of fractions is the common lowest multiple. For numbers 3 and 5, the lowest common multiple is 15. Since we already have our LCD, time to get the numerators. For the first fraction, to get the numerator, we will divide 15 by 3 then multiply to 1. The answer is 5. Hence, 5 over 15. For the second fraction, 15 divided by 5 times 1. The answer is 3. Hence, 3 over 15. Now we can add the fractions. 5 plus 3 is 8. Hence, 8 over 15. After adding the fractions, time to get their reciprocal. To get the reciprocal, just interchange the bottom and top numbers. Hence, it will now be 15 over 8 equals to t over 1. Let us compute. 15 divided by 8 is 1.875. Hence the answer is 1.875 hours. Question number 2. A water tank has an intake pipe A that can fill it in 4 hours and another intake pipe B that can fill it in 6 hours. If both pipes are operated, how long will it take to fill the empty water tank? Again. A water tank has an intake pipe A that can fill it in 4 hours and another intake pipe B that can fill it in 6 hours. If both pipes are operated, how long will it take to fill the empty water tank? You may pause the video to solve on your own. Time to compute. Let us identify the given. We have the pipe A that can fill for 4 hours, hence, 1 over 4. Pipe B that can fill for 6 hours, hence 1 over 6. And when filled together, we have 1 over T. Remember the formula? That's the rate A plus rate B equals to rate of both. Now the formula is 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6 equals to 1 over T. Here's the process. The answer? It's 2.4 hours. Quiz time. Let us try answering this test. In six days, Ernan and Daryl can complete a kitchen cabinet. Ernan can do it in five days less than Daryl when working alone. How long will it take each of them to finish work alone? Is it A. 5 and 10 B. 10 and 15 C. 15 and 20 
or D, 20 and 25. Again. In six days, Ernan and Daryl can complete a kitchen cabinet. Ernan can do it in five days less than Daryl when working alone. How long will it take each of them to finish work alone? To help you answer fast, let us do the elimination method in multiple choice questions. Using the formula we used earlier, substitute the given choices and check if any of them has an answer of 6. The answer? It's B, 10 and 15. Let us check. For choice A we have 5 and 10. Their answer is 3.33 days. For choice B we have 10 and 15. Their answer is 6 days. For choice C, we have 15 and 20. Their answer is 8.57 days. For choice D, we have 20 and 25. Their answer is 11.11 days. Question 2. Steve can paint his greenhouse in 4 hours 40 minutes, working alone. His brother Phil can do the same job in 6 hours, working alone. If they work together, to the nearest minute, how long will it take them? Is it? A. 2 hours 38 minutes. B. 3 hours. C. 4 hours 20 minutes. D. 2 hours 22 minutes. Again. Steve can paint his greenhouse in 4 hours 40 minutes, working alone. His brother Phil can do the same job in 6 hours, working alone. If they work together, to the nearest minute, how long will it take them? Is it? A. 2 hours 38 minutes. B. 3 hours. C. 4 hours 20 minutes. D. 2 hours 22 minutes. The answer? It's A. 2 hours and 38 minutes. Question 3. Michael can do a work in 15 days and John in 20 days. If they work on it together for 4 days, then the fraction of the work that is left is A. 1 over 4. B. 1 over 10. C, 7 over 15. D, 8 over 15. Again. Michael can do a work in 15 days and John in 20 days. If they work on it together for 4 days, then the fraction of the work that is left is A, 1 over 4. B, 1 over 10. C, 7 over 15. D, 8 over 15. The answer? It's 8 over 15. Explanation. A's one day of work is 1 over 15 while B's one day of work is 1 over 20. If we add the two together, it will be 7 over 60 of their one day of work. For A and B's four days of work, let us multiply 7 over 60 by 4. Hence it, it will 7 over 15. Therefore the remaining work will be one whole less 7 over 15 or 8 over 15. Question 4. A, B and C can do a piece of work in 20, 30 and 60 days respectively. In how many days can A do the work if he is assisted by B and C on every third day? Is it A, 12 days, B, 15 days, C, 16 days, D, 18 days? Again. A, B and C can do a piece of work in 20, 30 and 60 days respectively. In how many days can A do the work if he is assisted by B and C on every third day? Is it A, 12 days, B, 15 days, C, 16 days, D, 18 days? The answer? It's 15 days. Break time. Well. How was it? We will continue our discussion on our next video. Link will be posted on our comment section. But to stay updated, don't forget to hit like, click subscribe and ring that notification bell. Good luck!